Abuja no more crab and family key black media. Abuja Alan Kodjot Martin Cash, uh, were your founder and leader and also presidential candidate for Alliance for Revolutionary Change, ARC. Ah, Ponte, a year and a running meet. Now, Abuja running meet now, we you know, a year opinion I friend say, Quisi Pride Junior. I say, Ah, your friend say, A year Kwame Ousu Danso. Ah, uh, Elijah Kwame Ousu Danso. Now, Sa Kwame Ousu Danso in so and so, a year politician. Now, I was a morning show, a pan African television. One a year Nayelina. Now, Abuja. Eh no, emu, eh na, eh ye, eh alan kodech martin cash, eh yi sa pa pey, eh ye, eh le ja kwa me dan son no, se, om nan be ye ni rani meet. Na, eh mela ni di no, eh pi abon ting, eh na wawo wini, eh mp pi fui, a chen mafies, eh na, de bo go si, om abo abon ting, na po adum wache, de wi a wi si bi di, eh ye, alan kodech martin cash, eh hon fe wano, eh eh wusi yam, ah se fem, Waka se o e ba se MPP ene eye NDC e wo monka o mo policy sene ni e keke e ka ho a anya hwe kula ne wo muse wono no hotan NDC de but NDC eye political party eye kasi a ajidin wo gana hasi ndi ni santi no se e ba se o bi anka ni obeti mi aya ana ne policy si e wo ba e wo ba be ye wo meti mi aka bi ame no kura mpo no waka nsem bi se na nsen no hwe ye social media na ndc for ye umbrella challenge na en ye ndc ni ejina side na okura ye chini ye na mpp ni ejina side e wo social media no okura chini ye no mo ye umbrella challenge umbrella challenge later on mpp ni ni twa no ho esa ba ye wo ba ye wo se o woki ye mfa umbrella challenge ni to ni mfa ye policy challenge Emra, MPP for no every ni a year NDC no. Baby say an a key say a year alliance a revelation change a bit me about one thing about Becca Nelson so no or munti me yash and farmer and money di ya upa walang cash and say who for MPP muna kwa kote party ya when you be beyond fun to say yes I a din basa we say no dan chen kura mpwa say kwa kufa ye wo party kala ni afi so ye wo party ya shen suwa wa kufa fren fren to we wo mo mu di we chini na for MPP mu ba bi di we chini na the end of the day wo mu ni na say aba back to MPP e di ena wun tina say emi na hon na wo on pe obe vin tina mi di wun ya upa e buzi ya en sembe bili ena po adumwa che ke kan ye di gu e ye alan kwa jo chino maten ka shi hon fin ya e buzi ya e asifem ma yon kwa jo nchi de mono e mre si si ye the electoral commission is receiving um the nominations for political parties and, and parliamentary candidates is going on all over. I think it's ending tomorrow. And we know that Al-Haji Muhammad Dubaumia took advantage of the first day and went to deliver his forms to the EC. Between now and then, the EC are going to be reviewing the documents and check the qualification criteria. The danger for political parties like this is that because they are not well spread across the country and don't have offices, they have to go through very painstakingly to get people who are unblemished. Now, unblemished means that the person who signs the documents for them ought not to have signed for any other political party whether ndc or mpp if it, the, often that's the problem they always have because the mpp and the ndc have offices across the country so constituency representatives and police station executives have the mandate to sign the form for the presidential candidate that's very simple but if you are for you don't have community representation on all the hundred and something communities across the country in the districts then you're going to have to rely on people that you may not directly know what happens sometimes is that when these people have signed your document for you after you have compensated them or when the compensation is agreed upon it, it turns out that by the time your document gets to EC, some of these people are either not registered voters, their name is not on the voters roll, or they have filed for some, they have used their signature for another political party, maybe NDC or MPP. That's always the case. And the electoral commission will look at uh, the first in time. If he signed for the MPP before he signed for you, the one he signed for the MPP will be, will be deemed valid by the electoral commission and yours will be deemed invalid. But we pray that all candidates will do a good job and get the electoral commission to approve their nomination documents. Alan Chermatin here kusi pratt jr in the middle and then kwame who is a young man uh who is who has just started he's a, he's, a, he's a barrister he works at uh, pan-african tv i'm not sure whether but kwame Usu is even a politician i didn't know that he's a politician but yeah that he's he's a public person i think that his, his profile says that he's a former hip life artist 
of sorts, something like that. Yeah, that's also in his profile. So that's what we know about Kwame Uso. And he's married to Chrissy Pratt's first daughter, the indefatigable Ama Pratt. Uh, and uh, Kwame Uso and his wife, Ama Pratt, both lead Pan African television, where they have been doing an excellent job, I reckon. And it's Chrissy Pratt's son in law. And it's not just Chrissy Pratt's son in law, it's really Chrissy Pratt's co copy. I mean, you hardly see Chrissy Pratt without seeing Kwame Uso these days. Over the last two years, they are always together, they are doing things together, and all of that. So, Alan Chamatin could not have made this decision without Chrissy Pratt's influence in the matter. Now, why is Alan Chamatin looking for Chrissy Pratt's influence to choose a running mate? Or why is Chrissy Pratt interested in influencing the choice that Alan Chamatin makes for running mate? Alan Chamatin is never going to win this election. It's, not, it's never going to happen. He's not going to win this election. We've said that over and over again. And, and we told you that when the campaign starts, people will forget that Alan Chamatin exists. Today, Alan Chamatin is supposed to be the one as an independent presidential candidate who should have the policy ownership. That's what independence. Have you do you remember Dan Latte? Those of you who are old, he told us domestication. Dan Latte won on the policy on every election that he contested it. People knew that Dan Latte was not going to be elected, but everybody is stuck in everybody's head that Dan Latte represents domestication. And that was very important. Um uh, what's his name? PNC presidential candidate, uh, Dr. Edward Mahama. He also, when he ran as a for, for use of a for, for want of a better word a french candidate let me say that as a french candidate for the pnc because they are not one of the big political parties he always owned the national health insurance policy edward mahama had been talking about national health insurance in 1996 campaign in 2000 campaign i personally questioned him at the cnn presidential debate held at, in accra here at the conference center i was one of the questioners and my question to him was about policy there again he said national health insurance so when john kofor did the national health insurance the mpp were able to concede that this national health insurance idea is from edward mahama so edward mahama also owned the policy conversation now to be a, a revolutionary candidate new candidate coming up new things and up till today two months to the election where is alan chamatin's policy initiative zero that's not great that's not great for alan you may not win the election but if you're an independent candidate you are expected to provide the campaign with the oxygen that the main parties don't bring which is the thorough thinking of policy that's what independent candidates do. As for the big parties, they are big. They are going to run on slogan. <laughs> the, the other day, the NDC were doing an umbrella challenge. They said, put your umbrella challenge. And uh, I don't know what happened on social media. That's a contest. NDC and MP people were fighting on social media. NDC said, umbrella challenge. So they hold umbrella, they take picture. Umbrella challenge, they take picture. NDC, MP people were clever. They came back and said, policy challenge. Write your three top policies. So people wrote free SHS, da, da, da. And then quickly, the umbrella challenge died away because you see young people are coming the world is developing political campaigns in africa must change it must be about substance and that's what the young people are demanding so the ndc's umbrella challenge whittled away quickly they dodge they run away what are you talking about umbrella challenge people are looking for what is what is the future of ghana what are the political parties saying what is this saying when well, they say umbrella challenge they take picture but they can afford that big parties can afford that but if you're a small party you have to have a policy initiative you have to be leading so i, I don't know what the choice of kwame Osu is going to do to the alan tickets but as you saw somebody write he said that alan is a can blah 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 i'm quite disappointed about the way the afro front talk campaign has gone and i think it's because people that alan chamati were hoping he could rely on he couldn't rely on them the people he thought he would rely on, they saw that the MPP is a better haven. So they are all in the MPP. The young people, Adenta Kumi and Co, who were following him, they've all left his party. They've all gone back to the MPP, as they say, after hearing Baumier's message. So it's a very complicated situation for Mr. Chamatin, who was, uh, before this Afrofranto situation, put in the light of one of the most important politicians in Ghana. One of the politicians that people thought they could have hope in. And Alan has had the opportunity, without the baggage of a party, to put policy initiatives before the Ghana people it hasn't come maybe we are maybe it's going to come but it's two months to go and he's been at it for almost a year two months to go nothing on policy what is going to happen to the economy what's going to happen on transport what's going to happen in energy what is Alan Martin saying nothing oh I'm so disappointed I'm sure it's going to come I'm sure it's going to come I, I would like to err on that side. It's going to come. John Mahama has introduced the, he has an event this week where he's talking about energy and he's meeting the energy people. So this is the story. Uh, so Chrissy Pratt is on the Afrofronto ticket. Afrofronto ticket is not a winning ticket. So maybe it is to facilitate or to undermine, facilitate a party winning or to undermine another party winning. I shall not say more.